So one of the most helpful things to have in any blog post is an image that sort of spells out what you want to say and, and gives some visual interest to the words. And uh, yeah, if you go to stock photography sites and tried to buy all that stuff, it would be expensive. And also a lot of times stock photography just looks very stilted somehow, very artificial sometimes. So I'm going to show you two free services that let you insert within WordPress images that you want to use. So the first one is called Flickr Pick a Pick. I click on this and let's say I'm writing about caterpillars. So I would type in caterpillar and let's say I can actually go through there's 334 pages of results times 12. It's a lot of pictures, but I'm going to click this one. And notice how it inserted the title. It inserted a caption, which also takes care of rights and attribution issues. Um, let's say I want to insert it as a medium picture. And before I insert it at the top, I'm going to click Use as Featured Image. So it's really nice that you can do all this at once. And it's done. It's captioned, the rights are taken care of, and it's also going to be showing up, because it's using it as a featured image, it's going to be showing up in blog summary pages as well. So if we click view post, see what that looks like, and it looks nice. If I was really working on this, I'd work on getting a style where the photo was just the right size, etc., etc. But and if I go to the main blog summary page, because I used featured image, it shows up there as well, which is really nice. Now with this one, be sure you go into the settings and check whether yours is a commercial site or a free site and other things like that. And uh, that's very helpful so that you're making sure that you're using the rights properly. The other site is, the other plugin is Pixabay, which says it's public domain. So I'll search on Caterpillar there. And a lot of nice things. I'm going to insert this one. And it's pretty similar. It does the caption, attribution, everything. So insert. Very nice. I forgot to click use as featured image. I can do that there. So that works just the same. Now one thing, one little last tip I might say, leave is that a lot of times you're not writing about something as obvious and tangible as a caterpillar. You might be writing about how to get out of debt or you might be writing about um, another abstract concept. So you, what you can do with these sites, let's say you're writing about how to get out of debt and you want to concretize that as an image, you could sort of brainstorm ideas that are like how to get out of debt, like feeling in prison or feeling in chains. So let's say you looked at chains, looked for images of chains. Not that kind of chain. Not that kind of chain. Kind of look through but this is a really good way to take an abstract concept and make it feel a little more con con concrete. Like, um, you're feeling chained by debt. It might actually encourage you to make the title more concrete as well. And that could help, help visitors a lot. So let's say it was about being chained by debt. That would be really helpful. We want to like that one. Feeling chained by debt. So it jumps out at you a lot more that way. Okay.